Haley Schreier, and I'm a graduate student at the University of Missouri studying weed science under Dr. Kevin Bradley. I'm standing out here at one of my research plots where we are studying weed electrocution. Several different weed species are becoming resistant to chemical control options. Weed electrocution has been introduced as a non-chemical method for weed control. One commercially available weed electrocution implement is known as the weed zapper. As a result of funding from the Missouri Soybean Merchandising Council, we were able to purchase one of these implements and we will be testing it on weeds during the 2020 and 2021 growing season. In this research, we will test the effects of several different factors, including plant moisture, soil moisture, weed species, weed height, weed density, and speed of the implement. The weed species that we are testing in this research are mare's tail or horseweed, giant and common ragweed, several different grass species, and water hemp. We are also planning to use this implement in soybeans, and one of the biggest questions is whether it will affect the yield or not. So to do that, we will use it at different stages in the soybean growth. The weed zapper works by electrocuting any weed that comes into contact with the boom. The boom can be set to different heights depending on the stage of growth of the weeds and the soybeans. Our weed zapper requires a 110,000 watt generator, which is attached to the back of the tractor. A 120 PTO horsepower tractor is required for this size of zapper. So far in the study, we've noticed that most weeds that come into contact with the zapper are being killed, but we wanted to know how. These photos of the cross section show that the phloem is being damaged and eventually leads to plant death. As you can see in the pictures, the damage to the weeds happens almost immediately. The three hours after treatment picture shows that the plant still has some green in it, and 24 hours after treatment shows that the plant is almost completely dead. This slide shows the non-treated mare's tail side by side to the treated mare's tail, and these pictures show the non-treated ragweed versus treated ragweed. Although we have much more work to do before we can share any definitive results, it appears that going too fast will affect the level of control you achieve. This plot was treated at 2 miles per hour, while this plot was treated at 4 miles per hour. We've also observed that the height of the weed can result in different levels of weed control. Shorter weeds might not get touched by the zapper's boom and therefore will not be controlled. Because of this, we've seen better control in the 24-inch weeds so far. We are thankful that the Missouri Soybean Merchandising Council has funded this project, and we look forward to being able to share the full season's worth of results at the end of the season.